Hi everyone, welcome back to Living on Purpose. I hope that you are doing well. In today's segment, I am going to be sharing about the topic of learning to cast your burden unto God. But before we start, let us say a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the gift of today. We thank you, O God, that you found it fit for us to be here once again, O God. We thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your love, and your kindness that, Father, you have shown towards us. It is by your grace that, Father, we are still here, O God. We thank you, O God, for loving us. Thank you, O God, that we are here on this earth for a purpose and you have called each and every one of us for an assignment, O God. And Father, we are grateful. Father, Lord, above all else, we have come, O God, to seek your face. We are here to receive your word, but Father, we know that you are here. We ask, O God, that you will open up our hearts, our minds, every part of our beings to receive your word. None of me, but all of you. Father, Lord, I ask, O God, that you will open up the ears of your sons and your daughters, O God. I ask, O God, that you will remove the heart of stone and you will give them a heart of flesh. We make room for you, Holy Spirit. We ask that you will breathe afresh, O God, and that you will do what you and only you are prepared to do in this time. And always, we give you the glory and we give you the honor. Father, we thank you. We present our hearts to you, O God. We present our hearts to you. We ask that you will have your way. We ask that if there be anything that stands in the way, O God, of us receiving your word today, we ask, O God, that you will cleanse us you will purify us oh god we receive oh god all that you have already prepared for us let your perfect will be done in jesus mighty name amen and amen and so like i mentioned today we are going to be discussing about casting your burdens onto god and as believers we have heard about this before. The scripture that is found in 1 Peter 5 verses 7, reminding us to cast all our anxiety, our burdens onto God because he cares for us. But the truth of the matter is that we have all been or have been at that place where we struggle to cast our burdens onto God. And many times there are different factors depending on where we are in life and how we see God, right? For some people, it can be that lack of trust, that how can I cast my burdens onto God and what is he going to even do about it? Sometimes you're so used to handling things the way that you do them for so many years. Even if it's not working, you still continue with the same tactic because you feel like eventually things are going to work out. But as I was preparing for this, you know, when I was just thinking about that word, cast your burdens, you know, the Holy Spirit just dropped it in my heart that casting your burdens simply means surrendering unto God. And so many people at some point, even in their walk with God, have struggled with this um, command of learning to surrender to God. You know, going back to trust, being a factor to the reason why some people may struggle to cast their burdens onto God, right? Some people are so used to how they handle things. So for them, it feels like, what is the point of me casting my burdens onto God? I know how things are going to turn out. And sometimes it's that, you know, um, sense of control, I know how things are going to turn out. This is how I want it to turn out. And so you really struggle with a sense of trusting God. Because you think that you have everything figured out. But the Father wants us to surrender. Why? Because God cares for us. And he has a plan for our lives. You know, um, as believers, we love that scripture. Jeremiah 29 verses 11. We can 
we can meditate on that scripture even when we're sleeping, right? Um, because this is what it says. It says that for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, right? Plans to give you a future. And we know that we have hope in the Lord. But the truth is that God wants us to cast our burdens. He wants us to be able to lay everything down. And the beauty of learning to surrender and casting your burdens onto God is that you even grow a deeper intimacy with God because you're able to know the heart of the Father during that time where you are trading your pain for joy. You are laying everything to God and releasing and being obedient to this instruction that God has given you. You're able to also experience God and know the nature of God in a new level. Another reason why certain people may really struggle to cast their burdens onto God is the fear of uncertainty. How are things going to work out? They're so used to, once again, being in control, right? Being the driver of your life. And God is telling you, cast your burdens. Release it onto me. Surrender. Even though you may not know what lies ahead, I'm in control, but I am with you. And sometimes we need that reminder that God is with us, but we have to learn to be obedient to the instruction that he's given us. He says, cast your burdens. There's a reason why he's telling you to cast your burdens, because he knows that the load is too heavy for you to carry. So it's very important that we learn to cast our burdens onto God. We learn to surrender. Why? Because he cares. Another reason why certain people may really struggle to cast their burdens onto God is feeling unworthy of God's love or help, you know, due to their past, the mistakes that they have made, they may feel like, how can I come to God? Like, he will not accept me. I don't think that God loves me anymore because of the amount of things that they have done. And so this may be a struggle for this individual or groups of people that may feel like they are not worthy, you know, um, for God to even help them. But understanding as believers that God loves us, he wants us to draw near unto him. He wants us to seek him no matter what you are going through, you know, there is no sin that is so deep that God cannot bring you out of, but you have to understand that the holy spirit is your helper and you have to repent and draw near to him seek him understanding the nature of god can change your perspective completely throughout this journey with him because the enemy wants you to be in that position where you feel like god doesn't love you god does not have a plan for you look at your life look at all that you have done yes this is not to say that you should continue to live the way that you are living, knowing that it does not please God. But repentance is very key. Scripture always reminds us about the importance of repentance. So knowing the love of God, knowing his nature, and knowing that he's a father that awaits you, no matter how far you have gone. I mean, look at um, the prodigal son. He had gone so far. Right, but the Father's arms of grace was widely open for him and ready for him. Right, the Father chases after us, but we have to learn to draw near to him and we have to learn to seek his face and be obedient because this instruction of learning to cast our burdens onto God is very critical. Because if we cannot trust God, even in this area of casting our burdens, when he gives us an instruction to do something else we may not be able to even trust him and we will not be obedient to the instruction. We will not carry out that instruction because we are so used to doing the things that we do. But we have to understand that God has a plan and we have to be obedient. Um, and, and lastly, another reason that people may really struggle to cast their burdens onto God is because of unanswered prayers. Maybe you were seeking God concerning something and you may feel like God did not come through for you, not knowing that God was protecting you. And God knows all things. 
Many times we pray for things and we want the answer right then and we want it now. We have the way that we want God to answer it. And when he doesn't answer the way that we want it, it's easy, you know, to get frustrated and to get upset and even run further away from the presence of God. But that is not what God wants us to do. He wants us to seek him, right? One thing that has helped me tremendously in my walk with God is learning to say, Lord, let your will be done. And I know that this can be a struggle for so many believers because of where they are in their walk with God. But coming to that place, you know, in that space of knowing that my life does not belong to me, right? God is in control. And when you learn to surrender and you understand that your life does not belong to you, you make yourself available to the Lord for him to do whatever he wants to do. You understand that it's all about the Lord and you have to be obedient to the instruction that he's um, given you. And this really requires deeper intimacy with God, spending time at his feet, seeking his face, making the presence of God your priority, right? Because going once again back to this subject of casting your burdens onto God, so many believers struggle with it because they struggle with trust. There's a lack of trust. You know, the fear of uncertainty, you know, guilt or shame because of what they have done in the past or what they are currently facing. Um, And also like unanswered prayers. But in all things, God wants us to bring our burdens onto him. And so may you be reminded of this because even through scripture, we are reminded of the Israelites, right? God had a plan. But even when God, you know, brought them to the promised land, they still failed to, you know, trust in God, right? They still were still like, you know, asking all these questions and instruction that was given. And sometimes we find ourselves in that same category. But God is teaching us and wants us to learn the essence of trusting in him and casting our burdens unto him. So I'm going to leave you guys with three scriptures and I hope that you are encouraged by this today, knowing that God loves you. God has a plan for you, but it's very important that you are obedient to the instruction that God has given you. Cast your burdens onto God because he cares for you. God cares for you. He knows what you are going through, but he also wants you to count it all joy when you are facing trials of many kinds. And that is the beauty of us learning to cast our burdens onto God because he cares. And we are able to know the heart of the Father. And we learn to be obedient to the instruction that he's given us and when we spend time at his feet. And so scripture number one is Matthew 11 verses 28. It says, Come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Another scripture is Philippians 4 verses 6 through 7. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving. Present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And lastly, Isaiah 41 verses 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So may you be encouraged today as you have taken the time to listen to this message. I pray that whatever you are going through in this season of your life, that you will learn to cast your burdens onto God, that you will seek his face. No matter what you're going through, you can cry it out to the Father just know that he's your father and he cares for you. Arms of grace are open. You know, um, you have access, you know, into the presence of God. Sometimes as believers, we forget that. Or we think we don't have access. We think we only have access in certain seasons, right? You have access. The door is opened for you to come into the presence of God. But you have to be active, right? You have to come into the presence of God the invitation has been made but you have to take the steps to come into the presence of God you have to seek him and this means understanding that no matter where you are you can seek God you can talk to your father 
you can be you know in your bedroom you can be in the kitchen wherever you find yourself you can speak to god the presence of god is the presence of god um and so just be encouraged by this word today and spend time in the word of god meditate on his truth and be reminded always that he loves you so much and there is a purpose to the reason why god is giving us this instruction it is for a purpose he wants us to release he wants us to bring our burdens onto him why because he cares and he knows that the load is too heavy for us to carry and he wants us to be refreshed so it is my prayer that you will be obedient to this instruction thank you so much for taking the time to listen god bless you and until next time remember always that jesus loves you